What's up everybody? So today we're here with my F-150 and we got the trailer hooked up. Reason being is I'm doing I'm gonna do kind of a tutorial on how to set up electronic brakes. First thing you're gonna want to do, make sure your trailer is all hooked up. I got my wiring plugged in, not gonna come out. My safety chains are crossed. The other thing you want to have hooked up and as part of the electronic brakes is this cable right here. This has dual axle drum brakes, it's torsion axles. So let's get in the truck and set up the brakes on it. Alright, so we're back in the truck here. Here we have the electronic brake controller, it's a factory one that I installed and had the dealer unlock for me so the truck so it would work in the truck because the newer ones they don't have the digital display here for your brake control gain uh, like some aftermarket ones and some factory ones do so let's start the truck up here of course we see the built Ford tough logo and there it says trailer connected and trailer brake gain I have set at three and a half and here I'm going to show you guys how to set that up so really you're going to want to start we're going to hit the minus here and we're going to take the trailer brake gain down to well it says zero but let's not start there we're going to start actually at one and then put the truck in drive you go and you can see my output and that's actually me pressing on the brake and how hard I'm putting on it because what's nice about the factory brake controllers and some aftermarket ones they actually can they will read how much brake pressure you're putting on the pedal and it will send that same brake pressure to your trailer so it's not just getting all of that at one time on your trailer brakes for this scenario what we're going to do is we're going to start rolling to about 50 miles an hour you're gonna want to be on a and then once you get about there you're gonna squeeze the trailer brake and you can see we're not stopping so we're gonna go circle back around to another straight flat now I'm on gravel man I love these tow mirrors we're on gravel right now but it's flat you don't want to really be on a super hilly up and down you want to be able to just roll so here we're on a flat surface I don't really have too much room so I'm gonna back up yes I know my seatbelt's not on so let's do this again but so we know one's not gonna do anything let's try two now normally you want to go up by half increments but seeing as this trailer is a 14 foot enclosed I know dry weight it weighs about 2,300 pounds and it weighs about 3,000 pounds. How I tow it with all my stuff in it, give or take 100. So I know about two is not gonna do anything. So if we speed up, getting a little wheel spin there and then just using my trailer brake controller, I can feel it slowing down, but it's not coming to a complete stop. So we're gonna circle around again get us lined up in a straight path all right that's really getting annoying I guess I'll put on my seatbelt seeing as we're in a parking lot all right so straight path let's go up to three two and a half I mean we could try two and a half but you guys saw that I had three and a half before so I'm just kind of speeding this up so let's go to three and now get back up to 15 to 20 miles an hour so we're at 15 I'm gonna just using the brake controller you can see I'm not on the foot that's at full and we're slowing down but we're not coming to a complete stop you want to have it set to the point where it comes to a complete stop only using the trailer brake controller not your actual brakes and the reason for that being like I mentioned earlier if your trailer ever becomes disconnected from your truck you're not going to use your brakes to slow the trailer and you down you're going to use your trailer brake controller as your brakes and the brake controller acts as your normal brake so the, as much as you squeeze it it's how much pressure is going on those brakes so we have a three let's go up to four now we're at four and like i said before the trailer weighs about three thousand pounds 
as is give or take a couple hundred. Now let's speed up again. So we're at 15, applying the trailer brake controller. And look at that. Half the distance that it took us to stop and we came to a complete stop. But the problem is I can tell, well I can hear and feel that the rear wheels on the trailer are locking up at four. So that tells me we don't want it at four. See, I let go and now we're rolling. So we're gonna go down to three and a half and try it again. So four is too much because I can hear the wheels locking up. Now normally you don't want to do this on gravel, but this is like the one parking lot I got. So we got it lined up again. I put, I put it down to three and a half as you can see. Now let's try three and a half. So we're gonna get up to 15 miles an hour here. 15 and then squeeze the trailer. Brake controller. So we didn't come to a complete stop with just a brake controller. But the wheels weren't locking up. Now let's do an outside rolling shot of I'm just gonna set it to four, yeah, I'll set it to five. I'll set the brake gain to five and we'll see what happens when I just squeeze the trailer brake controller. All right guys, so in that, I actually had it set to seven. Well, the first pass was five, the second pass was seven. I set on the uh, gain, and as you can tell from the cloud of dust, the wheels locked up, which is not something you want on the road, and I'm sure if anyone's noticed on a trailer, if someone was hauling an empty uh, landscape or utility trailer, when they go to brake, the wheels are locking up. The reason for that is they might have had a bobcat or heavy equipment on that trailer so they had the brake controller set up for that heavier weight but when they took it off the trailer still set at the heavier weight so when they hit their brakes on the truck it's locking up the brakes on the trailer which you're going to wear out your tires on your trailer and wear out the brakes a lot sooner than you want that's how you set up a trailer brake controller that's how i set them up you can set it up differently it's just to me that's just the easiest way you start at one go up but anyways guys that's it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel there are tons more videos on its way there's I'll do a review on my gen y hitch i love this thing granted i've only towed no i've towed a few trailers with it but i love this thing it's great but i'll save that for the review I've done spray and bed liner. A follow up review will be coming up on this. As you can tell, I have stuff in here because I use my bed and it's still staying shiny. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you found it helpful. Comment if you have any questions or you guys take care and I will see you later. Bye.